You know, talking about Taiwan has been pretty difficult for the past few weeks. Now that's because people all of a sudden have a strong opinion about Taiwan or are desperately trying to not have an opinion about Taiwan. But both the opinions and deflections aren't really about Taiwan. They're about China. What will China think and more importantly do? How will China react? What does China want? At the same time, it seems like barely anybody talks about what Taiwan wants or needs. Yeah. You know what? Let's talk about something neutral. Baseball. Taiwan loves baseball. It's the great all Taiwanese pastime, and Taiwan's pretty good at it too. Most recently, a junior high school from Taizong won the Junior League Baseball World Series. In that run, they had a perfect 5 wins and 0 losses record. Very impressive. Now, Taiwan is making the case for itself again as it competes in the Little League World Series, which is being held in Pennsylvania. And as Taiwanese teams keep collecting achievements, the fandom grows. You might have missed the fact that former US President George W. Bush is an avid baseball fan. Before his political career, he worked for the Texas Rangers Major League Baseball team. So it's fair to say that he knows a thing or two about the sport. Earlier this week, he commentated on a Major League Baseball game between the Boston Red Sox and the Baltimore Orioles, during which he said this. You know, I was excited to see the Taiwanese team, not to get all political and stuff, but it, I think it helps relations for Taiwan to be able to play baseball here. Yeah, and we've, we've missed him. Look, we, we missed a lot over the last couple of years. This is the first time they've been back, the international teams, in three years. It's yeah. a different event. It is. Did you hear that? George W. Bush said he was excited to see the Taiwanese team compete, which is kind of a big deal. First, heck yes, Taiwan has some amazing and talented players, and it's genuinely exciting to see them play. Second, as a former president, George W. Bush should be better informed about the intricacies of Taiwan's international standing than, say, your average baseball commentator. So kudos to him for pointing out that it's a team from Taiwan. But what was that he said just before? Not to get all political and stuff. And we're back again. Why is it every time there's a conversation about Taiwan, even when it's something about as harmless as baseball, it's overshadowed by China's claim to Taiwan? Nancy Pelosi visited Taiwan? Well, that must be a big deal because it'll anger China. China. Japan donated vaccines to Taiwan? Oh no, China not happy. The US sailed a boat through the Taiwan Strait? Oof, I wonder what China thinks about that. Even mentioning Taiwan in the context of a sporting event for young athletes is making politicians defensive. The conversation is now so twisted that by merely saying Taiwan out loud, it can be construed as a political act. And if the word Taiwan finds itself anywhere near the word country, Oh boy, you're in a world of trouble. Bing -bing. Now, will George W. Bush's brief mention of Taiwan make China angry? Very possible, because China has gotten angry for less. Now, the world needs to learn to talk about Taiwan without automatically veering into a China angle, or just avoiding the topic altogether because it's problematic. Living in the shadow of this massive issue in the Taiwan Strait are people, and people don't deserve to be talked about like they're a problem or a common pest. Anyway, I'm Leslie Liao and this show has been hashtag not to get all political and stuff Taiwan.